Madeline Says Messy, The Always Be Polite Book by John Belmont's Marciano. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. Day in, day out, they got along fine. They'd hardly ever shout or whine. To each other, they were polite, except for the occasional pillow fights. The pages that follow offer advice on how to be polite and nice. As you read, please keep in mind it all comes down to being kind. Don't forget to think of others, parents, pets, and little brothers. The proper way to greet someone you chance to meet is to look them in the eye and say hello or even hi. The hello that's most worthwhile is the one delivered with a smile. When a grown-up is introduced to you, look up and say, how do you do? If they extend their hand to take, offer back a nice firm shake. But when you meet the queen for tea, the proper thing is to curtsy. To greet a dog, you kneel down low and give a gentle pat hello. When meeting a group, don't just say hey, say hello to each and to all the same way. But when the most you can do is wave your hand, the other person will understand. Please and thank you. To ask for something, what do you say? Please, or in Paris, s'il vous plaît. When is your turn to pass the plate? Smile, be generous, don't hesitate. Now that you have what you desired, the words thank you are what's required. Your welcome is the thing to say after thanks have come your way. Every gift deserves appreciation, no matter what the situation. If it's something you ask for, a happy surprise from the store, unwanted gifts you find a bore, what you have seven of before. A thank you spoken is a very nice token, but a thank you letter is even better. Because getting a thank you in the mail will brighten your day without fail. Kindness and consideration. If someone wants to talk to you, listen to them until they're through. No matter if they talk till dawn, don't interrupt, look bored, or yawn. Hold your words and don't be vexed. Your turn to speak is coming next. Interrupt only if you see a prisoner running free, a porcupine who wants to play, a solar eclipse, look away, a bucking, snorting, runaway horse, or a house on fire, of course. Don't be selfish and give in to greed. Here, I have more than I need. It can be lots of fun to share. And taking turns is always fair. Don't punch and shove when you play. Only a bad hat acts that way. Nobody likes a boastful boar who brags, My dad's a rich ambassador. And to whisper, point, and stare shows you're rude beyond compare. An animal is a friend, not a toy. This sort of thing she does not enjoy. Sometimes she wants to be left alone, to sleep or chew her favorite bone. If you let her have her way, she'll come to you when she wants to play. No one minds a little help. Start by cleaning up after yourself. Do the dishes, sweep the floor, take out the garbage, hold the door. Sorry. 
Accidents happen without intent or warning. Madeline spilled her juice this morning. Excuse me, please. I beg your pardon. And after that, it was forgotten. If you do something you know is wrong, such as going where you don't belong, don't make it worse by telling lies. Say you're sorry and apologize. Teasing someone isn't cool. It's never funny, often cool. To remedy this ugly business, try and beg for some forgiveness. If you do what you shouldn't dare and give your teacher quite a scare, apologize to her and then never do that thing again. Excuse me, sorry, pardon me does not mean that you are free to push or shove obnoxiously. Being sorry's most important part is that it comes straight from the heart. Good night. Goodbye. Let's other people know that you are sad to see them go. Now it is time to go to bed. There is nothing more that needs be said except the words "sleep well, good night," which let you know that all is right. So, Miss Clavell, please turn out the light on this book of how to be polite.